viewers, here are the news from the week 11th until the 18th of February. Operation against revolutionaries in Turkey, more than 50 people have been arrested. After the armed attack on the police point at the Chayalayan courthouse in Istanbul on February 6, Akipe Fascism detained more than 100 people. The detained people were tortured. More than 50 of those who detained have been arrested and sent in prison. Among those arrested are revolutionaries, musicians and lawyers, rates and detentions continue through Turkey. NATO is increasing its support to the neo-Nazis, one million armed drones. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg held a press conference after the meetings of defense ministers of the NATO-Ukraine Council held at the NATO North Atlantic Organization headquarters in Brussels. Stoltenberg said, a group of allies is coming together with the goal of delivering 1 million UAVs to Ukraine. All 20 NATO allies have decided to form a Dominic coalition, he said. As this news shows, NATO imperialism continues to support the Nazis and is fighting for more bloodshed in the region. The resistance is continuing the isolation prisons. The resistance of revolutionary prisoners continues the new type of isolation prison in Turkey, which prisoners describes as well security. While Nuriti Kayat death fast continues, Hussein Karolan, Sezgin Zengin, and Bakijan Sheikh is continuing the resistance with a hunger strike. While this is the case in Turkey, Andres Kreb, a political prisoner in Berlin, Germany, has been on hunger strike since January 29, 2024 against the usurpation of the right to mail books and newspapers. Zionist murder Israel continues its massacres. At least 100 people were killed in the city of Rafa as a result of the Zionist attack by the occupying Israel. According to reports in the Palestinian media, occupying aircraft bombed various area of the southern Gaza Strip Rafa's city during the morning hours today, killing hundreds of Palestinians, most of whom were children and women. The Palestinian Red Crescent said it was a witness to indecent Israeli raids in the city of Rafa, and hundreds of Palestinians fled the bombing and took refuge in hospitals. He stressed that the hospitals are in very dangerous conditions and there are not enough medicines. In addition to temporarily stopping the financial support of imperialist countries to UNRWA, Ireland announced that it will provide 20 million euros in support to Palestinian refugees. Conflicts in the Red Sea The Houthis resistance sought the ship of the imperialists who was bonded by imperialism. The Houthi movement resistance in Yemen announced that it had carried out a missile attack on the British ship. The US and British military also carried out airstrikes on the Yemen city of the Huedai for the second time today, against the Houthis, who continued their actions in support of the Palestinian people, the U.S. and British imperialism only also continue their counter attacks for capitalist exploitation and the defense of Zionist Israel. We stand with the Yemeni people who are resisting against imperialism. Landsale disaster in Turkey. Tuesday, February 13, a landsale disaster occurred at the gold mine belonging to Anna Gold Mining a partner of the U.S. Canadian SSR Mining Company in the elite district of Erzijan province in, of Turkey. Nine workers who were in the fight due to this mining activity, which is one of the examples of imperialist exploitation, remain underground. The massacre is not only in this aspect, but the kine used in gold mine has also mixed into nature, and thus uh, there is a natural massacre. While the people and lawyers in the region have been fighting against this mining company for many years, it turned out the company has maintained its leases with the local collaborator companies, prosecutors and law enforcement. Imperialism is exploiting our resources, slaughtering our people and our nature. Let's raise our struggle against imperialism in every field. Let's right in front of the Supreme Court building in Greece, Athens, against the attacks that face people's from. The demands. First, the objection of the prosecutor to the acquittal verdict 
in the 19th of March trial should be not accepted. Second, no fair trial in the Halkida case, corrections of judgment and demand release of the prisoners. Third, withdrawal of the new repression laws in Greece. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock in front of the Supreme Court, we call on all the people to embrace and support this resistance because the solidarity is the weapon of the people. Dear Anbird Front TV viewers, this was our weekly program and it's finished. Don't forget to follow us in our social media in Twitter, Facebook, Telegram and YouTube channel because follow Anbird Front TV means that you follow the voice of the people of the world against disinformation of imperialism. Thank you very much. See you in the next program.